Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for August 5th, 2019. So, <clears throat> my goodness, what an ugly morning we are facing this morning. First off, we had Asian markets decline substantially overnight as their uh, as the Chinese yuan really dropped sharply against the U.S. dollar, creating some issues there in currency fluctuations going on. That is also translated into European markets selling off pretty sharply this morning as well, all in reaction to the trade tariffs uh, or the proposed <coughs> trade tariffs that um, are expected next month. So let's take a look at the markets and see what's going on this morning. First off, <coughs> Excuse me. First off, we have a market that is looking for a substantial gap down this morning. We're gapping sharply lower after that little bounce back rally on Friday that held that 50 day moving average. And honestly, I thought we would get some kind of a rally back up this morning, but um, we're going exactly the opposite direction with a substantial gap down. Now there is price support down in this area, so at, at least that is a good sign. But unfortunately, we're creating t some tremendous technical damage this morning, um, gapping down below the 50-day moving average and probably creating <clears throat> a short-term oversold condition. Now that doesn't mean we can't go lower. But in the short term, this reaction has been pretty substantial. And if we take a look at this, um, this is this rally was more than 10% up in two months. And in four days, it looks like we're going to take about 50% of that back just really quickly. So pretty shocking move, um, certainly. And that's one of those things I've been talking about and worrying about that complacency of the market. All of a sudden, the market gets shocked and we get that substantial sell-off. So, and, and please don't anyone think this is anything out of the ordinary. If you look back here, we saw these kind of shocking moves <clears throat> just um, at the end of last year. And we've seen those many times before. So this will happen when a market gets kind of overextended in the short term. We kind of forget that there's bears out there and um, we forget that the bears get hungry every once in a while and they come out to eat. So <clears throat> here we are um, experiencing this painful sell-off. And I know that that doesn't make it any better, that we, we really should have been expecting this, but um, just know that it's not odd and out of uh, the ordinary. And if we hold on to this price support down in here, I think we're gonna be in pretty good shape. Now, if we sell off and we continue to sell off, I think below this area here, this could become a very punishing sell off and create some problems. I would expect, however, some kind of a bounce back prior to that occurring. So let's keep an eye out for that price action that could suggest a little bit of a bounce back that we may have got a little bit carried away in the selling this morning. Let's take a look at the SPY. Certainly a very, very painful sell-off here as well in the SPY. Um, not looking so good overall. And you can see we did end up at, on Friday, end up holding on to that 50-day moving average, which was wonderful to have been able to held on, hold on to that. But as you can see, um, gapping down below here this morning is creating some substantial technical damage. There is some price support right in this area where we're looking to gap down. As you can see, a little bit of a consolidation right here, these market highs right here, and this consolidation right here. So we could catch a little bit of price support in that level and um, maybe bounce back up. We'll wanna watch that closely. And here again, wiping out um, a, a full month of the rally here in just four trading days. So getting a little bit oversold in the very, very short term. That doesn't mean we can't continue to go lower, but we're just reaching kind of a, a, an oversold condition in the short term. Um, any bounce back, we're gonna, going to want to watch pretty carefully 
opening down in this area. Any bounce back, we're going to have to start watching these resistance levels um, on any rally back up. And keep in mind, gapping down here, that 50-day moving average now becomes a price resistance in the chart. And that possibility of a failure from here that could lead to a bigger market correction. So let's keep a close eye out for that. And let's not just assume that we're going to rally all the way back up. There's a lot of uh, unanswered issues out there that the market is trying to deal with. Let's take a look at the Qs. QQQ obviously punishing move this morning, gapping way down here this morning, it looks like, and gapping into some price support. There's pr some price support through this area as well. So we'll want to watch that right in here to see after that punishing gap down if we can't catch that little bit of a rally to come back up. But it could be pretty darn ugly um, for the uh, the near future and remember we have a huge number of earnings this week there's a lot of uncertainty still out there and, and um, this certainly looks like it's going to be um, well just kind of a rough time for the market to have to work through all these emotions let's take a look at IWM IWM breaking down um, substantially, failing once again at this price resistance that I've been talking about and just really kind of overall worried about that we're struggling here and now we're gapping substantially lower. Having failed on this support level here on Friday, uh, gapping down into this next level of support. So let's look and see if we can hold some price support down in here in that chart. We don't want to see that continuing um, to fail. But IWM certainly is not any beacon of, of confidence here and um, could actually lead us to the downside. So let's watch that closely. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now the VIX, I have been mentioning over and over and over that this was where I was really concerned about um, the complacency of the market. And that complacency has now played out in a substantial bounce or um, massive fear um, as a result of the threat of a trade tariff uh, increase. So that um, that fear really came in all at once here, held this price support, came in all at once. And this morning, it's likely to spike up um, substantially up into this area, maybe even higher this morning on this massive gap down. Now, I think we're going to be um, okay, um, as long as um, cooler heads begin to prevail in this um, big gap down this morning. Um, but I will be really, really concerned if we pull back at all and we hold above this price support area right in here. If we pull back at all, hold above there and hold that area as support, I would be worried of more selling to come. So watch that pretty closely as we head into the future here. This may not be done, and as a matter of fact, it could get um, pretty oppressive here for a little bit um, uh, with suddenly turning so bearish and fear really coming up in the market. Let's take a look at T2122. T2122 is that four-week new high, new low ratio. And you can see, even though we had a little bit of a bounce back on Friday, that's putting uh, that that bounce back really didn't do a whole lot here in the market and kept us down here toward that bullish reversal zone here in the market. And you can see we have this is commonly the place where we catch those bounces back up. So um, this morning's big gap down and probably I'm going to say kind of an overreaction gap down, kind of a punishing gap down is going to bring us clear down into here. Very, very close to this zero level um, in the chart. That means we are substantially oversold in just a very short period of time. Doesn't mean we can't continue to go down, but just that short period of time we have reached a pretty darn um, 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 substantial oversold condition really, really quickly. That would suggest we at least get a little bit of relief, whether that be a little consolidation or, or a bit of a bounce rally back up. Um, little bit of relief that should come into market here um, 
over the next couple three days but watch that closely um, could be pretty darn punishing if we continue to sell off uh, to the downside let's take a look at um, our economic calendar today and unfortunately our economic calendar does not have a tremendous amount on it to really move us around uh, much today we do have an ism non-manufacturing at 10 a.m obviously pmi services index um, before that but i wouldn't expect that to move us at all and then after that we just have bond auctions and things going on and a fed speaker later on this afternoon so pretty darn uh pretty darn quiet on that economic calendar so that's not going to help us however on the earnings calendar we have a massive week of earnings we have uh, more than 1200 companies reporting earnings today so or not today this week which means we should expect this uh, you know and you combine the vix with all of this additional fear and a massive number of earnings expect extreme price volatility very very challenging price volatility um we could see those really big herky-jerky type actions full-on price reversals intraday we could see large substantial gap up gap down openings for the rest of this week um, just based on all of these earnings and the the high emotion and fear that we're experiencing in the market right now but what i want to bring everyone's attention to is first this isn't um extraordinary or out of the ordinary we've we've been in we've had these shocks before so the last thing you want to do is you want is is panic or try to revenge trade um, probably the better thing for a lot of folks to do is just stand aside let the institutions fight this out we don't have to put our money in this mix we can protect our capital we can stand aside we can be careful we can wait for our edge to return in the market and that's typically what i do when i get a market that's reacting like this it becomes very very difficult to do anything except just wildly speculate uh, unless you're a very very quick day trader and i just tend to stay away from that just back away um, hold on to my capital and wait for those cooler heads to come back and we get back to some better trading now that doesn't mean that we can't continue to a downside trading isn't possible as a matter of fact if we rally back up and we run into resistance around the 50-day moving average or any of these resistance levels in the chart and we show failure that's really going to set up probably some additional selling to the downside and so i'm not suggesting that i'm just going to be waiting for an upside market i'll be waiting for a better entry possibly for short trading um, i don't want to chase a move like this down i'll wait for that rally back before I get um, heavily short in this market so reasons for that so with that everyone hey I want to wish you all a great day I know this is probably not one of those days that you anyone wants to face we all look at markets like this with a pretty grim attitude and I certainly understand that but let's keep in mind that markets or stocks have been pricing themselves really to perfection here lately um, even as earnings have come out better than expected they're essentially flat with last quarter suggesting no growth and so we've been pricing the these stocks at truly truly uh, perfection prices and a pullback offers us that opportunity when that once this all settles out um, better prices on really good quality stocks so as long as we don't uh, get involved in um, trying to speculate around this sell-off and end up losing a whole bunch of money we'll be in really good shape when the market comes out of this and starts to clean up and improve so just keep that in mind so with that everyone i want to wish you um, all a great day I, I know that's pretty rough to say on a market like this but i wish you all the best i hope hopefully some of you um, have some short or hedge uh, positions on that are making this uh, market very palatable um, even profitable today so I wish you all the best today uh, with what's going to be kind of an ugly morning um, and with that I want to say 
<clears throat> thank you to everyone who watches these videos. If this is the first time you happen to see these videos, please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button and, on YouTube and then click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified of these videos. Now, the purpose of these videos are not to provide you any prediction as to what the market is doing or will be doing. It's to look at the technicals of the charts, kind of decide how we want to approach the market for today. I can tell you after looking at these charts, um, and I had this decision made on Friday, that I'm largely standing aside. I'm protecting myself in this market. And, um, protecting my capital, protecting my business while we go through these wild fluctuations in the market. I will likely continue that uh, protection stance uh, today as all this volatility unfolds. So um, with that in mind, uh, no prediction here in these charts. And if you find this, this useful, if you find this information helpful in how you might want to approach the market for the day, please do me a favor. Please click that uh, thumbs up button and leave a comment. Um, any, any comment uh, will do. It just helps those algorithms show these videos to more people. And I, I try to provide um, some of that common sense approach without all, the, out all the hype that you might see in other um, things out there. And if you go back and watch some of these videos, uh, morning videos, I've been warning about the possibility of complacency um, in this market for some time now and um, suggesting that this kind of move could certainly occur at any time. So kind of, you know, take that in. If you remove the hype and just really study the price action of the chart, there's a lot that you can glean uh, from that and how you can protect yourself in your trading. So please do me a favor and click that subscribe button. Also click that thumbs up and um, leave a brief comment. You guys are the best. I truly, truly appreciate it. And this morning we just went over 6,500 subscribers and that really is a credit to you guys uh, for uh, leaving those thumbs up and, and uh, um, those really kind comments that are truly, truly humbling to me. So thank you, everyone. Um, I appreciate every single one of you. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up, but I want to caution you on most of these. First off, for any short trading um, at this point, we would be l just truly chasing into a short trade. So don't chase a short trade. We want to wait for this market to bounce back a little bit. Then we can look for those short trades. So be careful. There's really not anything out there in the way of really good short trades at the moment. For long trades, there are stocks that could be setting up, but we're going to have to be very, very careful with those long trades. So any stocks that I mentioned here this morning are, are going to be more for that evaluation. No recommendation to buy or sell anything in these stocks. Take a look at JCI. Now JCI has um, had this really nice consolidation here, popped up nicely on earnings, getting this really light pullback. And you can see at least as of now, as of Friday, we haven't had any kind of massive reaction lower holding up quite well. So once this kind of settles out, if the market does start to pick up, we might start seeing some buying price action coming in here on JCI. So we might want to watch that. Um, BSX is another. Notice that we've had really no um, negative price reaction with the last three days of selling in the market. BSX has actually held up extremely well, moving back over into its trend here. So let's watch this one for that opportunity, maybe for that pop up in the chart. Um, take a look at Snap. Snap holding up quite well and on Friday actually saw some rally coming in. It looks like it's going to move a little bit lower this morning. So we want to be careful chasing into these trades. It's really, really difficult going long on trades when the market is selling off this strongly, but it's also too late to chase a short trade. So we're, we're kind of stuck in this place where we really have to do a lot of watching and waiting on these charts. Other places that you might look uh, for some good trading um, um, are some of these defensive sector stocks. Now, 
Procter & Gamble gapped up substantially on an earnings report and it's had this relatively controlled pullback. And you can see Friday didn't really get involved in heavy selling. If we can hold support right in here, we might see that start to pop back up and move along. But look at some of those maybe defensive sector areas to find some um, safe havens for uh, trading. You know, for example, AT&T, AT&T, those really high dividend payers holding up here on Friday. You might see some um, support coming into those um, as folks rush to areas for a little bit of protection. Also taking a look at some of the precious metals like um, GLD might be a place to be reaching out for um, some bullish protection here. Looks, looks like uh, gold will be gapping up this morning on the big fluctuation in currencies that are going on today um, possibly silver uh, might be another place to look and it looks like silver is moving up this morning and last but not least maybe utilities um, um, we see utilities typically gain some energy gain some strength um, as folks will run to some relative safety in the market so you might want to come over here and take a look it looks like um, utilities xlu could be moving a little higher this morning with this bearishness coming into the market. So with that, everyone, I hope you find that helpful. I know today is going to be kind of a rough day, a little bit of a shocking day, but you know, stand aside. We don't have to trade this. Remember, protect that capital and better days will be coming. Um, so in the light of such a really rough day in the morning or, or in the market, what I want to do is I want to open the Right Way Options Trading Room to anyone who might be interested in coming over. We're going to be there all day today. And so if you want to look just below the title of this video, you'll find a link there to join us. Feel free to come on over. No password. You can be there all day. Ask any questions you want. Give us a look and um, see if there's anything we can do to help you with your trading day. With that, everyone, have an awesome one. I want to wish you all the very best, and we'll talk to you all bright and early Tuesday morning. Have a good one.